Hi everyone, it's Hany from Hany Alas here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make these colorful fall leaves cookies. To make the cookies, I used my cutout sugar cookie recipe and to decorate, I'm using royal icing. Both of these recipes, along with recipes for gluten-free cookies, vegan cookies, chocolate or gingerbread, are listed on my blog, hanyelas.com. Link is in the description box under the video. To start, we're going to make leaves as royal icing transfers. So here I've got my template in a protector sheet and I also cut up a couple of protector sheets to make smaller pieces and I'm piping my leaves onto these smaller pieces. Sometimes I find it's easier to pipe transfers onto individual piece rather than the whole protector sheet because sometimes it's tricky to remove these from the protector sheet. This way you have more control when working with a small piece like this. And I'm using 20 second consistency royal icing here and I'm using what's called wet on wet royal icing decorating technique. Here I'm marbling the yellow with some red and green. And you can also pipe the veins using brown royal icing. You can see how it's sinking in. If you want your brown veins be um, on a thinner side, make sure that the opening on your piping bag is small. If your opening is too big, then the line as it sinks into the base layer is going to also expand a little bit and it's going to be thicker. So when doing wet on wet, and you want a fine line, make sure that the opening on your piping bag is small. You can make these transfers ahead of time. And when I say ahead of time, I mean, you could make these now and use them next year. <laughs> but if you want to use them this year, you need to let these dry for at least, I would say six to eight hours. So it's best to let these dry overnight, right after you make them, place them on a flat tray and just leave them be. And then, Eight hours later, you can remove them from the acetate sheet. If they're not coming off the acetate sheet, they need more time to dry. Look how easy it is. These are so pretty. I love making royal icing transfers, and I actually have a detailed tutorial about royal icing transfers and how to use them in cookie decorating on my blog. A link is in the description box under this video. And in this tutorial, I'm using white as my base for all of my designs. So first I'm going to outline and flood. For the outlining and flooding, I'm using 15 second consistency royal icing here, same piping bag. You can see here, I'm not putting too much pressure on my piping bag, but now you can see I increased the pressure and more icing is coming out. And this is about 15 second consistency royal icing here. Now, if you're scratching your head, no idea what 15 or 20 second consistency means. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I have a guide about realizing consistencies for cookie decorating here on my YouTube channel. And if you are more of a picture learner, you can also find it on my blog, hanielas.com, and all the links are in the description box. Now I'm going to do more wet on wet, making polka dot pattern and my almost black, this is like dark gray roll icing, is 15 second consistency. If your icing is too thick, it's not going to sink in to the base layer. And if it's too runny, most likely you're going to have some cratering in your roll icing once it dries. And then you can just drop that leaf on the top. In this second design, I'm dividing my cookie into sections. I'm using edible marker and a grid template and a straight edge. You can also use a ruler to make the lines straight. And now I'm going to use, uh, this is also 15 second consistency white and that almost black royal icing to make the stripes. I'm not waiting for the white section to crust. I'm piping my dark section right after I did the white. 
When doing the lines like this, or stripes, I like to increase the pressure on the piping bag as I go next to the color, next to the uh, first color, in this case dark gray. And what that does, more icing is coming out, and then there are, there are no gaps, so I don't have to move the icing, I don't have to go around the seam with the, the scribe, which sometimes can mess up the seam line and it's, it's going to um, make it not straight. This is a slightly sped up uh, version here. <laughs> I don't decorate this fast. And now we're going to just drop the royal icing leaf that we made earlier on the top. It's going to sink on its own, but if you see any gaps, you can gently press on it to make sure that um, it sticks to the royal icing. Now this design was inspired by, I believe it was a postcard or something I saw with a bunch of uh, polka dots of different colors. And I just thought it looked so uh, happy and cheerful, and I decided to use it on my cookies. And again, I'm using 15 second consistency royal icing to create this design. And then you can drop the leaf onto the icing. In this design, I'm using a grid underneath my cookie to guide me and I'm making plaid design here. So I'm using the grid for the reference where to start piping. So my lines are evenly distributed. And then again, just drop the leaf on the top. In this last design, I decided to go for something abstract. So I'm just going to pipe lines across using different colors. And again, my icing is 15 second consistency. All right, and there. And that's how you can make these beautiful, colorful fall leaves cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. And you can also sign up for my cookie decorating uh, newsletter. And also I wanted to wish you happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you next time.